Hello, Veronica Tolentino here, going over uh, some of Chapter 4's highlights. And um, I apologize, Professor, about the PDF submission. I, I, it's my first time doing this. Um, but so, according to Bark, an automatic behavior is characterized by what Bark calls the four horsemen. Uh, the following are the four characteristics of automatic behavior, which are efficiency, uh, it has to be unintentional, and uncontrollable, and unconscious. I thought it was interesting to learn this as I think about the times that I do things that seem efficient to my, you know, daily activities like this 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 behavior you know whether it's the way I do the dishes like I may fill the sink up with water and then put the dishes in or someone else might just use a dishwasher like I feel like it's very unique to each each individual on how what is actually efficient so but I do understand their the concept of how it's efficient, like in the text where, you know, walking and chewing gum, like that's just an automatic behavior that it's efficient for us. If we we're walking somewhere, we're chewing, we're probably on a phone call as well. All the things that we do nowadays. Um, thing also that was interesting was that it's unconscious um, because it just makes me think about the things that I do that seem efficient, back to efficiency, that are actually unconscious in a way. Um, you don't even realize you're doing, you know, something in a, in a specific way all the time. Um, it's just interesting because you it makes you wonder about these deep-rooted patterns that we have and how sometimes they could be difficult to uh, change. Um, also learned that the Stroop effect shows that with uh, practice, reading becomes automatic. Uh, that operation span task is what's used to measure the working memory capacity. And um, a cocktail party effect is something that shows when presented in several simultaneous messages the listener can attend to one message while the unattended messages combine to form background chatter. Uh, also that sensory memory is the first stage of the model that receives input from the environmental stimuli and it stores it for about less than a second. It has the large capacity uh, as it immediately senses the environment but it's for, for such a short time.